let's now speak to Professor Brian Nakedi, Free State Strategic Dialogue Group Exco member. Thank you so much, Prof, for your time. I know that the PC says that they are still going to, of course, announce um, what happens and the outcomes following their meeting today. But what can you tell us about the, you know, the, the speculation that is rife in the public domain right now that uh, the current premier may not be safe? So the issue is that the ANC at the moment uh, assist with the matters relating to the strengthening and rehabilitation of the state institutions. That's the first point. Hmm. And the second point is that uh, the ANC would love to position itself with regard to uh, issues pertaining to service delivery. So there is an effort to try and re-engineer uh, the service delivery mechanism. And I think the most important point is that uh, the, there needs to be a relinking of the governing party and its political structures at all levels. So there can be correlation between the mandate of the party mm -hmm. and what is implemented at the governance level. So listening to you then, uh, uh, am I correct if I'm interpreting it as the current premier was not fulfilling that mandate? Pardon? Would I be correct if, I, as I'm listening to you, you talk about the restructuring, you talk about the relinking of the party's mandate, yes. translating into government. So now that the speculation is rife that the current premier may not be safe, so could we read into what you've just said that she may not have translated what the party was talking about into government? So there's been a, a, a disjuncture between government and the ANC. And the disjuncture, if you like, uh, brings about uh, ineffectivity in terms of implementing the mandate of the party. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what the party is battling with now is to try and, 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 and correlate its political structures and its mandate at the government level. And, and, and where do things stop, um, you know, being coherent? Where do things stop correlating? Because we've seen service delivery deteriorate in the free state. We've seen, um, you know, even the president, when he was there closing the, the party's conference, saying that there needs to be a priority, that people of the free state trust the ANC once again. So in your reading of it, where did things start to not be coherent? We've had a legacy of state capture in the free state. It could be argued that the origin of the state capture actually can be located to the free state. Mm. And that particular uh, problematic has had an overwhelming impact, which is negative on service delivery and uh, effectivity of policy decision of the ANC, also at the national level. So what is important for us as the SDG in the free state is for the ANC to reclaim its position as a governing party in terms of uh, its constituencies that relates to the mandate that uh, the constituencies have given to the structures. And do you believe, though, Prof, that the, the current crop of, of, of the ANC, and, and, and I ask you this in the context of what has, has been done in the past, how service delivery ground to a halt, how, you know, things deteriorated in that province. So do you look at this current crop of ANC members in the eye of those that can fix the problems? And as you're saying that you're looking at the ANC to realign, accelerate service delivery as well, and get back into what needs to be done. So is this an ANC in the free state that can do this in your view? This is an ANC that is actually in a transitionary mode, that it is aimed and it, it's quite clearly from the posture that they have uh, that they would want things to be done differently mm. in the sense that the ANC must begin to reclaim its position in governance 
in the past, we all know that uh, not necessarily the ANC has been navigating the governance uh, uh, space, as we know that it has been much more, you know, the, 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 the power has been within the, the realms of individuals in terms of their own needs, mm. even when it comes to ready, uh, deployments and so on, it would be based not on competencies and capabilities of cadres of the movement, but it would be based on who would take my instructions in relation to my personal interests. And are those people gone? We have a challenge. We still have people who have been charged with corruption in relation to various, uh, you know, charges. And uh, uh, some of them are actually head of departments in the free state. Uh, it, it baffles anyone who knows and understands governance as to why, with the stringent of available uh, governing rules, that uh, such people are still uh, uh, the HODs of different departments when what they deserve actually is to be given space to actually go and focus on uh, what they are facing so they can be able to uh, defend themselves. So one, uh, uh, you know, is, is inclined to, to, to actually think that the issues are much more in relation to common interests than yeah. the governance of the people. So in, in just as you say all of that, then how does someone watching from the Free State trust that the ANC can be able to do this relinking, um, this you know restructuring, if what you've just said is still there? One would suspect that the developments of today within the PEC are actually geared at actually addressing uh, such concerns and making sure that uh, the people of the of the free state uh, come first mm -hmm. and uh, the rest of us come after. All right, let's see then um, if this is that watershed moment as we keep hearing that it's a watershed moment. So let's see if this watershed moment, uh, Prof, as you say, does translate into this restructuring. Let me thank you for your time. And uh, as we wait then to hear from uh, the uh, Free State ANC on the communication of uh, the outcome of their PC meeting, we are expecting to get a sense of what did they talk about and what is the future of some um, within the ANC in the Free State. That is Professor Brian Nakedi, Free State Tr Strategic Dialogue Group, EXCO member.